Let's just bring in these latest pictures for you uh, that uh, so just give you a sense of this whirlpool that's been created there. I don't know if we can bring in Humphrey on this one. Uh, is that uh, usual? That Because we've seen a wave moving forward, essentially, but that very much a spinning a whirlpool-like motion. Uh, yes, I mean, it, it, w without knowing the details of that, it's, it's obviously hit something or some other force of current that has created it. And again, what we're seeing time and again with these pictures is the sheer force of how what looks like a placid Pacific Ocean almost out of a tourist brochure going along and it is incredible force then it hits the land and it becomes it goes from seawater to sludge and we saw it in the earlier pictures there picking up houses picking up trucks picking up ships and simply flinging them around as if they were toys and here I think what you've got is some dreadful uh, whirlpool that would, it's a vortex that's sucking uh, sucking everything that it meets into its uh, into itself but this what we're seeing here, these are the pictures that we didn't see in 2004, 2005. These are the pictures that in Indonesia, the Philippines, the tiny island of Tuvalu in the middle of the Pacific that is threatened anyway through global warming. And now the Red Cross is warning that the waves of this tsunami, as it goes over that island, could be higher than the island itself.